Hello dear students. In this video, we are going to discover the fascinating world of plants and how they reproduce. Reproduction in plants is essential for creating new life. Just like humans and animals, plants have special ways to ensure their species continue to thrive. Let's explore the various methods plants use to reproduce and understand their unique structures. First, let's talk about reproduction through seeds. Seeds are like the starting point for new plants. When we mention seeds, we're referring to a crucial part of a plant that has the potential to grow into a new one. This process is known as germination. A seed has three main parts, each playing a vital role in the growth of the plant. The first part is the embryo, which is like a tiny baby plant inside the seed. As the seed matures, the embryo grows into a seedling and eventually develops into a full grown plant. Next is the seed coat, which is the tough outer layer protecting the seed. Think of it as a shield that keeps the embryo safe and prevents water from escaping. The third part is the food store, which contains nutrients for the growing embryo. This food, usually in the form of starch, is stored in seed leaves called cotyledons. Cotyledons provide energy until the young plant can make its own food through photosynthesis. For a seed to start growing, it needs three important things, water, air, and the right temperature. Water helps the seed soften and swell, allowing the embryo to grow. Air is crucial because it provides oxygen, which is needed for growth. And the temperature must be just right, while different plants have different temperature preferences, most enjoy a warm environment. Once the seed has enough water, air, and warmth, it begins to germinate. The seed sprouts, sending out roots to anchor itself in the soil and shoots growing upwards towards the sunlight. As the plant continues to grow, it develops leaves, stems, and eventually flowers or fruits. Now, let's explore vegetative reproduction. This is a way plants can reproduce without seeds, using parts like roots, stems, and leaves to grow new plants. There are two main types, natural and artificial. Natural vegetative propagation happens without human intervention. For example, some plants, like sweet potatoes, reproduce through their roots, known as tubers. These tubers can be cut into pieces, and each piece can grow into a new plant thanks to the buds, or eyes, they contain. Similarly, plants like potatoes and ginger can reproduce through their stems. These underground stems, called stem tubers, have swollen parts with many buds or eyes that can sprout into new shoots and roots. Certain plants, such as the bryophyllum and begonia, can reproduce through their leaves. For instance, the notches on the edges of bryophyllum leaves can grow into new plants when they touch the soil. Artificial vegetative propagation is a technique humans use to create new plants. One common method is reproduction through cuttings. In this method, a mature stem from a parent plant is cut and placed in soil. The stem develops roots and leaves, growing into a new plant. This technique is often used with plants like roses and sugarcane. Another method is reproduction by layering. Here, a healthy branch is bent and partially buried in the soil. It develops roots and, once strong enough, can be separated to grow independently. This technique works well with plants like grapevines and jasmine. Lastly, there's reproduction by grafting. This involves joining two different plant parts together. A piece from one plant, called a scion, is attached to the stem of another plant called the stalk. They grow as one, combining desirable traits, like good fruit taste from one plant and strength from another. Grafting is commonly used with roses and apple trees. So, the next time you see a plant, you'll know the incredible processes happening behind the scenes to bring new life into the world. Now, here's a question for you to think about. What part of a seed provides nutrients for the growing embryo? Take a moment to ponder and share your answer in the comments. The complete curriculum for Class 5 is available on our channel. Check out all the links provided in the description below. Please make sure to like, share, and comment for more such videos.